What is up guys, PCHD here and today I've got an as informed as it gets. This time we're doing a full informed Netherlands squad. And if you are looking to buy some coins then go and check out hdfutcoins.com. You can use Beach, B-E-E-C-H, for a 5% discount on the checkout for, you know, PlayStation, Xbox or PC coins. So just use the Beach 5 in the checkout. So... Krull is going to be the first player that goes into the squad as the Newcastle goalkeeper. 21,000 coins for him, cost me a fair bit, you know, for not really a decent keeper to be honest with you. He was letting goals in all the time, left, right and centre. Uh, then we go into left back and we do have Van and Holt, who was 153,000 coins. This defence is so expensive, it's unbelievable. You should see it's 153,000 coins, 91 pace, 72 defending and 71 heading. He was decent but definitely nowhere near 150k worth decent, to be fair. Then we do have Juan Janmat. I'm going to say a bunch of these names wrong, I can already feel it. 64,000 coins for him. Didn't manage to grab me any goals from corners or anything. 74 pace, 76 defending, and 70 heading. Then we do roll into the next, or the first of the two centre-backs, Van Dijk, whatever his name is. 280,000 coins. That's just an unbelievable amount of coins to spend on a silver centre-back. Um, I actually played, uh, it was two games with his normal card and four games with that card because he got sent off twice for me. That was pretty annoying. And then we do have Quackman for 30,000 coins who was also the final centre back. 53 pace, 75 defending and 72 heading as he slots himself into that final defensive spot. And the defence was pretty solid on the whole bat. The goalkeeper was just such a letdown when I was using this team. It was so annoying. Seedorf is the centre defensive mid. Surprisingly, he didn't grab me any goals. I was expecting one or two here and there, long shots and stuff, as I know people rarely do rating. But he does have 82 shots, 89 passing, 86 dribbling, and then just average, you know, defensive and heading stats. The first of the two centre mids, which are many be wingers, but I swapped the formation. Ma Maya, Maha, one of them. 17,000 coins for him. It managed to grab me just the one goal and two assists. And I definitely don't recommend this formation if you're playing with slow centre mids. It's just a nightmare, to be honest with you. You've got no pace in this squad at all, which is the main issue. Just grabbed me a goal from pretty much the middle of the area. He was playing more of a cam centre mid kind of role. Then we do have a class and the other centre mid, like kind of where the winger should be. 120,000 coins for him. These, the sil I have no idea why the silvers cost so much for these. It was just so, so weird. Grab me the one goal. It's such a nice goal, actually. Look at that. A bit of a half volley straight to that top corner. That was a delicious goal. Uh, take that all day, every day. So then we go to center attacking mid. Schneider, of course, 86. That's his second in form. And, you know, obviously he's going to do decent. He's got five goals in six games and three assists, which is all good and dandy. That's what you're looking to see in your players. 74 pace, 86 shot, 90 passing, and 86 dribbling. And his, his goals varied, you know. He's kind of playing alongside the strikers quite a bit. Um, just making those good runs, floating through. He's also a bit of a scavenger. You can see he grabs a couple of rebounds, grabs the first rebound there. Not sure if I included all of them, just because of how bad the rebound kind of clips were but he's just a fairly lucky little player he's dribbling i feel like helps with him getting a bunch of this like kind of jam in between each goal there we do have van percy as the first striker 650,000 coins not cheap at all he has 91 shot 86 dribbling 83 passing and 74 heading managed to grab me seven goals and three assists in his six games and the reason I only played six games with this squad is because, you know, full informed teams are just so frustrating to play with. Every time I do it, it's very frustrating, but it gives me a chance to kind of review a bunch of different players, all the players at what they're on the same team. So I find it quite useful as well. And he scores quite nice goals, to be fair. This one's quite far out, over the keeper, and boom, to the back of the net. All good. And he's just got one final one where it's just kind of like a stretched, right-footed kind of shot to the bottom corner. Just past the keeper, all good for me. Then, finally, we do have the one silver striker, who is Di Liu. He was 20,000 coins, managed to grab me 5 goals in 6 games, but 0 assists, 65 pace, 73 shots, and 75 dribbling with 78 heading as well. Um, didn't really rate him too much, to be fair. He scores a decent goal as his first one. Um, I, I'm not really sure what to say about him. For 20,000 coins... You could probably go out and try him, but the only issue was, for me was his lack of pace because it's only, I think it was 65, we just said, around that area. Uh, that's just way too slow for me in a, a striker position. I need quick players, which is why I struggled a bit with this squad. But on the whole, I found out some good things about different players. I hadn't used quite a few of them and I managed to um, you know, get a real feel for them. If you have enjoyed this video guys, remember to drop a like and subscribe to me if you haven't already. 300 likes would be amazing on this video. And if we can do it, there will be another Ak making Akin Fenwa famous out very soon for you. So I'll catch you on the next video guys. Bye bye.